Guys, once again, welcome back to the Gatekeepers TV, of course, your number one sporting uh, YouTube channel. So, as of course, as usual, I'm Dennis Keton. I'm Molly Edwin. And we are here again, still we are in match week 33, and of course, we reserved this big game for because of a reason. So, we are here to talk about, of course, Tottenham versus Manchester United. Of course, this is a match which already happened in the first leg. And of course, Pogba will tell us how did the match go? 2-0. Uh, Actually, United won by two goals to nil. By two goals to nil. Yeah, courtesy of, was it Fred and Bruno? Fred and Bruno. Mm. So guys, a lot is happening in the football, football world. And as of now, you should have realized that it's been a minute since we talked about Manchester United on this channel. Because the last time they were playing in the Premier League, it was some times back, uh, the last match which you guys played in the Premier League was which game? Nottingham Forest. How did the Away. match end? It ended 2-0. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we won 2-0 and uh, we were away at Nottingham. After that match, Manchester United travelled to Spain to face Sevilla in the Champions League quarterfinals. How did the match fare? It was Europa League. Europa League. Yes, <laughs> so we, were, we lost that game uh -huh. to Sevilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, by how, what margin? Three goals. Three nil, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then from there, uh, last week on Sunday, Manchester United were in the semi-finals of the FA Cup uh, with Brighton. The match was intense, the match was impressive and everybody gave their all. The match went to extra time, which means that we played a cool 120 minutes. Uh, in the 120 minutes, the result was 0-0. Pogba, how was the result on the penalties? United won 6. Oh, he won, they won 7-6. to 7-6, seven to six, yeah. And advanced, yeah. With the match actually losing the deciding penalty. But having said that, guys, now we are back to match with 33. Manchester United are here and uh, they're ready to go. Uh, they are facing Tottenham, a team that actually are going through problems. As a famous Swahili person always says, Nataka Mutuombe. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, these people require prayers, but they have actually started acting. Let's hope whether the actions which they are taking is going to work for them. In match week 32, um, Newcastle were playing against Tottenham. Tottenham travelled away at St. James Park. Pogba, mm -hmm. would you care telling the viewers how the match ended? Yeah, they wished they had not travelled because they were bantered. Okay, they were banned. They were humiliated six goals to one. And uh, this happened in the first 26 minutes where they conceded five. Five goals. Mm. Isaac, Murphy, Wilson, it was a massacre. Crazy, crazy experience, which Tottenham fans, Tottenham management doesn't want to actually recall. Especially Daniel moment. Levy. Especially Daniel Levy. Mm. Sticking there on fans and management not wanting to remember that. After the, after, on the aftermath of losing 6-1 to Newcastle, transition had to happen. Due to that, Tottenham sacked their interim coach. Stellini. Stellini. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Fabrizio was quick to report that Stellini is gone. When Stellini went, Pogba, who's taking over? Ryan Mason for the second time. For the second time, guys, Ryan Mason is taking over Tottenham and hopefully he will take over until the end of the season before Tottenham can decide who will be their next coach. And also on top of that, Tottenham fans, Tottenham players actually rendered an official apology to their fans. As you can see on your screen, that's a published statement from Tottenham Hotspurs actually apologizing to their traveling fans who came to witness the embarrassing moment against Newcastle. Actually, in that statement, they have committed to refund the fans who traveled all the way, their bus tickets, actually to actually take care of that sad moment. But for me, that's an apology well accepted because uh, it means that for real Tottenham players and the Tottenham fraternity weren't happy with the results which they got. Uh, the solitary goal for Tottenham was scored by, of course, Harry Kane, uh, which took his tally to 24 goals. Uh, that tells you that Harry Kane has been super impressive this season in terms of scoring goals. But the big question is, how are you scoring how are you becoming top scorer every season and your team is not winning? Could that be the key reason as to why Manchester United you are hunting for his signature in the next season? 
Yes, actually, they are very much interested. Mm. He's a good player, but at a wrong... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, saying that, I think we've spoke a lot, so let's jump straight to tonight's match. Uh, Tottenham will be at home at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, uh, ready to rewrite the wrongs which they did against uh, Newcastle. So Pogba, mm -hmm. talk to us. What do you do? You think they are ready to rewrite right their wrong, or do you think Manchester United are coming to this game motivated and feeling like they gave their all against Brighton and it's time to go? Well, that will be when I say that that will be our confidence on the Manchester United side. But to be honest, yeah, Tottenham that was an act of sportsmanship. Actually, that shows you do care about your fans. Um, the rest okay there's this shifting or uh, shifting of coaches which leads to of course changing tactics and all that and the last match they played we, we saw they subbed off um uh, they subbed off their number one keeper at first half which i felt like it was a bit harsh because it's the work of defenders to protect him it's not his own doing so it was a bit harsh for me for hugo loris but we don't know whom they will play uh, facing Manchester United, but I hope, I hope they make some good decisions because as they have, as they, as per what they did, um, I feel like they will be coming in wanting to rewrite the wrongs that they did. So believe you me, it won't be an easy game for Manchester United. Guys, Manchester coming into this game actually. Uh being improved in terms of uh, they have been boosted because most of the injuries which they had uh, they are actually back we have of course their main man mr rashford uh, he was injured but we saw him returning back in the fa uh, he's officially back though of course we told you right here at the gatekeepers tv that uh, somebody like uh, the butcher man uh, mr Lissandro Martinez. Lissandro Martinez, he will be out for the rest of the season, right? Even Rafael. Even Rafael. Though Rafael right, right. can be back for the FA Cup final. For the FA Cup final. Yeah, exactly. So apart from those players, most of their players are back. Of course, Eriksen is officially back. Sabitza is back. Now we're talking. Um, Casemiro is back. So they are, they are a full squad. Wegost is back. Uh, he was he was not Wegos was not born. Uh, <laughs> Martial is back. By the way, so, thanks to Wegos, uh, he gave us a kiss of death. He gave uh, Brighton a kiss of death. He was the centre man for much losing that penalty. He 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 acted as a ghost. But anyway, it is what I, what it is. We're good. We're good. So um, having said that, I feel like Tottenham will be coming in this game wanting to rewrite the wrong which they did. If they truly believe in themselves, if they truly come in this game fully committed to give their all, I feel like it's something which, it's a result which they can pull because that result reminds me of the 7 mil uh, victory of Liverpool against Manchester United. Always historic. That, that result actually uh, didn't augur well with Manchester United. In fact, what Ten Hag did, he actually used that as an opportunity or as an advantage to confirm to his team that failing is not, uh, failing once does not mean that that's a permanent failure. Actually, he, re he retook back the team that lost 7 nil and gave them an opportunity to play in the following match of which they won. So I feel like with the same, same spirit, if Tottenham can embrace that and actually accept that, yes, they lost, but they have a chance to rewrite that, it will be very encouraging. So I feel like because of that result, that result is going to make tonight's match to be a crazy match and with a lot of dynamics. I feel like uh, since it's a top four contest, uh, currently Manchester United are almost five or six points clear of them. So they really, really need to play a catch up match for them. So them being at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, I feel like it's a high time for Tottenham to bounce back regardless of the poor form. This is a match whereby, guys, let me go straight up and shoot. I feel like uh, Liverpool for some, uh, Tottenham for some reason, uh, they will be getting results tonight. I'm looking at a 2-1 win for Tottenham. Well, um, stats, 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 stats show that United has been dominating, has been dominating uh, when the two sides meet. And uh, last time they were, they, Tottenham made a trip to Old Trafford. 
Um, of course, United won that game by two goals to near. Manchester United dominated that game. Well, uh, yes, I see some improvements in tonight's match on the Tottenham side, of course, the, the home team. What I feel like United will play, might, might, uh, okay, despite the, the shortcomings and dis disadvantages and the bad results they've been having, I have a feeling that tonight, yes, they'll improve and we will see Tottenham has improved. They'll get the most position. That is true. But believe you me, United will win that game by two goals to nil. Let me go by two goals to nil. United might decide to play a very defensive game because... Ten Hag, this is what he has been doing whenever he faces a, a good side. And for real, Tottenham of tonight will be a good Tottenham side. Yes. So thank you guys. That should be it. That marks the end of March week 33. And thank you for always staying tuned and keeping it the Gatekeepers TV. Remember, we love you and let's make it a sporty nation. Thank you and enjoy your time.